Right, welcome ladies and gents, let's talk box office. So we're going to be looking at uh, Godzilla minus one in this video because it's opened uh, in other parts of the world. Uh, we're going to be looking at Wonka and uh, the boy and the heron and just some other bits and pieces within Hollywood. Uh, first things first, just to kind of get it out of the way, um, Godzilla minus one absolutely smashed it again this week. They've extended the run again and added even more theatres. Not like a huge number of theatres, but the fact that they really they keep increasing theatres is a really good sign. Uh, now, Deadline has this as their opener for the article Wonka, yummy, with $39 million opening as musicals bounce back at the box office. Yeah, I mean, look, musicals have not traditionally done massively well at the box office. Um, this is a movie which, for all intents and purposes, you're looking at it like it's, it's apparently not a terrible movie, but also no one really asked for this. Like, it's a prequel that no one, there was no hunger for this at all. Now, that's not to say that, uh, you know, a, a company can't succeed with a, a film that no one asked for, obviously. You know, you can enter the market and surprise people with showing them something that they never thought that they would have wanted and it be successful. This hasn't done massively well. I mean, $39 million is not great. Next weekend will be the real clincher on that because people will be breaking for Christmas uh, and they'll be taking their family everywhere and this is a strong family film. But then it also has to contend with two other Warner Brothers films, one of them being Aquaman and The Lost Kingdom. I don't think that would do massively well, but it is what it is. So I thought we'd just take a look, right? So, you know, is this uh, a huge bomb? I mean, it's not great, but we don't know until next week. Let's put it that way. So $39 million, I had like 100 and 50 odd million dollar budget 100 uh, it's 100 plus million dollars it must be in the 150 dollar range uh, million dollar range um but it's doing well you know worldwide the weekend for wonka is bigger than expected 92.6 million dollars and that's where you want to look at right um which is including france belgium holland australia new zealand italy denmark sweden poland uh, so yeah run in total 151 million not, not horrendous. $41 million uh, domestic. Uh, well, June's $41 million domestic debut. This one, 39 So, $151 million running total. Uh, it's okay. It's okay. It's not incredible. It's not, you know, nothing to massively shout home about. Uh, and like I said, again, next weekend, then that's, that's what really matters. But it's difficult because... What movies are going to come out next weekend that could kill it? There's a fair few. Uh, and they're, they're, there's quite a big sort of blame game, I guess, with this. You know, Wonka was originally greenlit and championed by former Courtney Valenti, uh, administration at Warner's, and the pick was co-financed by Village Roadshow. The current admin at Warner's has been passionate about the project, screening it uh, early for the press before Thanksgiving to get the word out. But then no one bothered to really care that much about it. And there's loads of things that they've had. The deals that they've had going, uh, TNT, TBS, Food Network, there's loads of stuff. Uh, NHL, TNT's, Science Channel, Bleacher Report, Cartoon Network, oh look at all these tie-ins. Candy Company, IHOP, I mean holy shit. This is quite an insane push that they've been looking to go with this. Xbox, Booking.com, Crumble Cookie. A uh, big, big push. They obviously thought this would be massively successful. Because these are huge marketing pushes. But what we've got for the weekend anyway, and this is just domestic, uh, and this is studio reported estimates. So Wonka, $39 million, but 151 worldwide. <clears throat> Hunger Games, Songbirds and Snakes, uh, it did 5.8 million. You know, not, not uh, terrible, respectable. I mean, this movie, I think, is now broken even. $145.2 million. Uh, and, you know, worldwide, significantly more than that. But it was down uh, 374 theatres. Now, two movies which plus theatres, again, quite unusual that that happens. You'll only ever see uh, minus theatres in all the rest of these reports. Uh, minus, well, except for one, uh, which is Poor Things, but that's because that's sort of slowly creeping up there as well. You can see it there, 73. But The Boy and the Heron is now at $23.1 million domestic, uh, and it is, I mean, they up by 120 theatres, 
So it did $5.1 million this weekend. Not horrendous. Oh, that's a big drop-off. 60% as a drop-off. That's probably kind of done now, to be fair. I mean, it'll do a little bit more here and there, but it won't do much more. Uh, but the real surprise, which has consistently been a surprise, is Godzilla minus one. So they only managed to drop 43% from last weekend and yes some of that will be plus in theaters but they only upped it by 82 uh, now they did 4.88 million dollars this weekend uh, and they've got a running total of 34.2 million dollars in uh, the u.s domestic market but they've managed to cross uh, 60 odd million dollars now i think i mean here we had a report from forbes godzilla minus one is the highest grossing japanese film in u.s history which is, yeah, crazy, quite frankly. Uh, really, really crazy. <clears throat> uh, and now it has crossed, if I believe it correctly anyway, although the numbers are kind of all over the place. Because you've got here numbers saying $57 million. Uh, I don't think that's the case. As far as I could see, it's well over. Well over uh, the $60 million mark. So... Yeah, not quite understanding that. Uh, but we had it here, you know, 14 point... I mean, it's, it's just it's just smashed it. It's such a smash hit success. Absolutely killing it. So the biggest, highest grossing movie, Japanese movie, sorry, in US history. Killed it there. Uh, and like I said, these numbers here, opening weekend domestic was $11 million. But they did, I think it was about 15 plus million dollars they did in Japan. But they're not... They're not reporting that as much uh, as you would think, or as much as they should, should I say. Uh, Japanese, so again, international total, 23 million, you can see here. Uh, but that's not the full amount. It's not the full amount at all. The, it's kind of all over <laughs> Japan, nothing. Literally nothing at all. But we knew it was really, <laughs> we know it's released in Japan first. Uh, and they've also not updated the uk it was released in the uk this weekend as well so this movie's gone well in excess of 60 million dollars now and it's just a, a roaring success one of the things which a lot of reviewers and commentators in this space fail i don't i don't even think they know it quite frankly but japan they take more of the money home because toho runs and owns their own movie theaters they have about 32 percent of the theatrical market share that's a high amount so they take i mean that's all their money uh, and we don't have that reported here so yes but anyway these numbers this is not the full amount anyway obviously as you can see here um the, it's released in the uk now this film's just a smash hit success so it's beautiful to see. I do enjoy it. It's very, very funny. And it's just funny to see it destroying other movies, quite frankly. So, but yeah, Wonka, 151 million worldwide. Not bad. Not bad. So what do you guys think of all of this? Please do let me know down below in the comments. Cheers, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.